Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Never let me be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Free me. Pay heed to me and save me. Be a rock where I can take refuge. A mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. My hope has always been in you. And so my lips are filled with your praise and your glory all day long. Do not reject me now that I am old. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. But as for me, I will always hope and praise you more and more. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help, though I can never, never tell it all. Psalm 71. And then there is that wonderful verse from James's letter. Always speak and act as persons destined for judgment under the law of freedom. Merciless is the judgment on the person who has not shown mercy. But mercy triumphs over judgment. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us on Bridge Nation. Good morning. Good Monday morning to you all. This is a program where we blend the word and the song in order to bring together the people, in order to heal the divisions of humanity and to recognize the true purpose of our lives. We do that by not by abstraction from, but by engagement with all of the concerns of the people, in our case, the Jamaican people, Jamaican lovers, wherever they are, anywhere in the world. That's why we flood the airways with dialogue that hopefully is helpful, analytic, talk straight, shares views, respectful of each man's liberty and freedom. Welcome, welcome to the early rise on the bridge, 99 FM. I'm Ronald Thwaites. Later on, the Honorable Pernell Charles Sr. <laughs> joins us, yes, to continue our discussions about issues affecting Jamaicans at home and in the diaspora. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Bridge Nation by tuning in to the bridge on 99.13579 on the FM dial. And remember, you can also watch our live stream at www.thebridge99fm.com, wherever you are in the world. And you can join the conversation by calling our phone lines at 876-676-4996 or connect with us via WhatsApp at 876-551-5782. We'd love to hear from you. Well, you want to know what's the sweet weather in Jamaica this morning? All right, we start with that as usual. The Meteorological Service tells us that the forecast for today, Monday, January the 24th. Boy, that January done already, hardly. This morning it will be mainly sunny. This afternoon expect isolated showers across hill areas. Otherwise, it will be partly cloudy. A weak trough is expected to drift eastward across the island throughout this morning. Meanwhile, a high-pressure ridge is expected to build across Jamaica by this afternoon. One of these days, we have to get definitions from the meteorologists in simple terms, preferably in our Jamaican language, what a high-pressure ridge is and what a trough is. Okay? <laughs> so, in the meanwhile, we just, we just have faith, you know? Boy... You know, mostly on this program and on this station, we talk about Jamaican affairs. But, you know, uh, we are humbly proud. <clears throat> Is that an oxymoron? I don't think so. We can be proud, but at the same time, you can express humility and no arrogance about that which you are proud of. And we're proud of our intelligence and some of our tremendous achievements. And I'm just checking with the CNN this morning and giving thanks that I am a Jamaican, that we are Jamaicans, and we have the freedoms and the opportunities that we do. Tell you why. First of all, boy, you know, it's just so distressing that in a world where 
inequalities are so pronounced where distress and war are, are still so prevalent. Look what's happening in Syria and in the Middle East, okay? And now in Ukraine, that we are abstracted from that. We don't have that. We have many disadvantages of being an island nation in the armpit of the Americas. But at the same time, we have a certain integrity. Nobody is assaulting our borders, yeah? We, ethnic conflicts are, are few and far between, if at all. So we give thanks for that. And then there's the other thing. Looking at the American scene, here is this committee that is looking at what happened on January the 6th, 2021 with the transfer of power from Trump to Biden. And we're hearing that there actually was a highly placed lawyer who was uh, probably going to be appointed Attorney General of the United States and who would have told certain states to s fail to certify the results of the election. Remember, Mr. Biden won by 7 million votes, okay? Uh, and that they would have used these falsified pseudo-legal ways to demean the election process and say Trump win. Well, you know, uh, we have had our share in the past, notice, in the past of bogus voting. But never, never in Jamaica would we do something like that. Never would we have done that. And never I am um, confidently predicting, hopefully predicting, proudly predicting, would we ever do something like that. This is a big, big bastion of democracy. And at that, the do? Well, fortunately, it never worked. Fortunately. But still, there are millions and millions who did want to see it happen and would have believed that the end of keeping their man in justified the means of falsifying the entire democratic system. Hey, that is intelligent. That is morals. That is what wealth and education and plenty of food do for you? No, sir. We don't say so. Yeah, and so what we do, we don't, we don't <laughs> no vex, but what we do is cherish our traditions of fair play, our traditions of decency, of take time with one another. Yeah, I can say that even, even, with, the, even with the multiple murders last week, you know, that we have to move away from. We can demean what is a really good trend and history that we have of respect for one another. That's what we defend on the bridge. That's what distinguishes us as Jamaican people of Jamaican origin. Jamaican lovers is a term I like. So <laughs> we'll watch, you know, we'll watch it. We can't influence it too tough, but what we can do, yes, is exert some influence by way of example. And we use these instances that we look over people's shoulder and uh, peer over the transoms of big people life, big country life, and we say, hmm, and so we're going to go, we're going to do it differently. And so this morning, we make a pledge. Sorry to hear what you all go through, you see, fancy having to do that. Hey, people who don't believe in the rights of individual, people who don't check for the humanity and the, the divinity of each of God's human creations. Yeah, they might laugh when they say that, you know. They might laugh and they might build up an army on the, on, the, on the border of this country or their trade and industry and money power in the other corner and dress it up in any way possible and have all kind of, of Jim Screeching reasoning about it. Yeah, but it is, it is to take over and subjugate people. And that takes place very easily in circumstances where people are congenital. Those who are to be subjugated are congenitally at odds with each other. We have to find, hear me now, we have to ch find common cause. Yeah, we can have disagreements, but we have to find common cause. That's what I believe the bridge is all about, you know. People of different different viewpoints, different backgrounds in JA. But somehow we need to recognize the and cherish the the, the the beauty of our traditions and the essence of our soul uh, forged in all of the terrible events of history, even the very, very unfortunate events of our present.
okay? So we take the murderousness. What it is? 20 people dead over, the, over two days over the weekend? Hey, hey why? How'd that go? Yes. Is anybody asking that question? Is anybody asking that question? Is anybody getting to the background of why it is that so many guns and, and bullets, uh, shots, could be found in Montego Bay at the airport? Uh, is this beyond us to find out? Or if it is found out beyond us, ordinarily, ordinary people to know? <coughs> we don't see nobody get catch up on that one. And obviously it is so many others because there is no shortage of firepower, you know. <laughs> And so what we believe is that we need more arms, more bullets, more, uh, more aggression is going to be the solution to violence. You think so? Hello, I remind you of Martin Luther King. Everybody was clapping last week when he had, we had Martin Luther Day and said, oh, we strongly support him. Martin Luther says you can't murder, murder. Yeah, you have to use other things. You have to reach the heart of man and woman. If you don't start that yet, it's a long problem, but you pr process, but you can do it. What are we doing in that regard, please? Yeah. Okay, hear me now. Hmm? I want to discuss with my friend Pernal when he comes. But you see what is going on in West Holland? Hmm? You see what is going on in many of the violence prone areas? I know a little bit about one in the city. Yeah, from experience. If in West Holland, no, just take, take that one now. All right? Man does not live by bread alone, but he needs some bread to live, you know? Yeah. So in, in, in West Milan, look what happened. The tourist industry popped down because of COVID. Okay? The sugar industry, the cane industry popped down. It did a long time, and we've been uh, juking it up, juking it up, but it kind of kind of very weak now. It can't employ people. The millions of dollars that the that from estate used to, to, to inject into the Savlamar economy. Uh, it, it's no longer there. There's no banana. There's no bauxite there. And it, that is, <clears throat> as you know, controversial and contentious. So w w fishing kind of gone down. So w w what, is, w what is the economic base of life? And when people do not have anything productive to do with their lives, yeah, at the same time as the cost of living going up and up, we're not blaming anybody, you know. And this is not a political argument. This is a this is this is a realistic point. When, when you can't go shop, when you can't feed your picnic, when you can't even have relations with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, because why or your husband or wife, why? Because you can't approach them because you don't have nothing to give them. What do you do? What do you do? I'm not I'm not justifying robbery and mayhem and violence and so on, but I'm telling you that it has origins. Yes, it has origins. So the, the, the important lady who is in charge of the army now, she papers this morning say she goes into downtown Kingston and meets the people and meets the, the, the uh, security forces on duty. They're very good, public relations. Yeah, But <laughs> she is reported in the press as saying that she wishes to change the culture of violence in Jamaica. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We agree, ma'am. But the way you're going to change the culture of violence, yes, is not only by curfew, but you're going to have to get those persons who are on the margins of society, below the margins of survival in the society, who have wrong attitudes that are richly reinforced daily. Richly reinforced daily. Not, not, not ideals and values of love and respect and seeing some opportunity, but that of consumption and grabbing Yes, and selfishness, and high life, and banality. Okay, right. And if you, if if the army, with its discipline, with its ethic, with its superior leadership, my goodness, how proud we are that a lady can be in charge of the army of Jamaica. Yes, that is your role to help with that, as well. And if, not, if we not do that, and if you don't lead us in that regard, yeah, it's down we're going, you know. 
down we're going. So we don't want to go down. Yes, we are humbly proud of the fact that we can turn adversity into victory, even in these difficult and desperate times. Good news this morning is that the World Health Organization is saying it's calling on nations to lift travel bans and mandatory vaccination for entry into countries. And they are saying that closed borders have failed to contain the highly transmissible Omicron coronavirus that was first detected in South Africa last November. Okay. Well, uh, is the World Health Organization going to be speaking to the CDC, Center for Disease Control in America? Because last week they were telling people, don't come to Jamaica because it's a, it's a virus, uh, a, a virus nest. Okay. And that is cramping the tourism industry, the tourism jobs, etc. Hey, tourism workers don't get a lot of money, you know. But them get something, them have some something for get up and do a daytime and carry home something. And we're not discussing the levels and the rights and wrongs right now. But what we know is that poverty is increasing when tourism gone down because we don't have an alternative easily. And that's something we have to deal with. But for now, we need that. So I'm hoping that this advice from the World Health Organization will filter through to our major tourism markets and help us to revive that industry as soon as possible. The World Health Organization, yes, we listen to them, state, said that the state parties, that's people like us, like America, Canada, England, should consider a risk-based approach to the, quote, facilitation of international travel by lifting or modifying measures such as testing and or quarantine requirements when appropriate. Okay, that's one thing. But that doesn't really, as you recognize from hearing it, that doesn't really deal with a nation that says, look, we don't think you, our citizens should go to this or that place because uh, you're likely to, to, to get it. They're not <laughs> Quarantine and testing is a, a derivative of, of that. So we're not out of the woods here to see how low our tourism interests are. No doubt very happy. All of us should be. All of us are uh, about this. So we need to take care and we need to think of different ways in which we can sustain ourselves, including, including, but not exclusively or so exclusively on one particular industry. So we need to put things in balance here, eh? Anyway, Mr. Cummings of one of the tour companies is adding his voice to the World Health Organization recommendations and saying, quote, certainly in the last couple of weeks and the direction that the virus has been going in, it suggests that the lockdowns all and all the restrictions are really serving no purpose. When you can answer that, yeah, what you're doing is flying in the face of what the government of Jamaica acting on the best health advice yeah, is, is saying. Um, and because the the the, vir the virus is ragging in Jamaica now, some like a thousand cases, yeah, over the weekend, new cases, uh, but a positivity rate of all oh, fifty plus percent. Can you imagine that? Yeah, though, and some some increased deaths. I heard twenty one deaths uh, on Saturday, but thank God not the high levels that we would expect. But Frankly, very much according to the predictions of the chief medical officer, who is a person we must highly respect and regard her views, and the minister who is obviously following the science as he must. Okay? Jamaica still needs to be very careful, still needs to be very observant. Now, yesterday morning, just to finish that off before the break, I heard a religious um, program on Radio Jamaica uh, B b criticizing the government and criticizing the prime minister about uh, proposing vaccine uh, observance mandate for public sector workers. Yeah? I am amazed. Uh, or let me take that back and just express a, a, a differing view, respectfully again. Look here. Science and the discoveries of science are the manifestation of God's wisdom in the world. Yes? It is through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, if you're a religious person. 
that scientists are able to experiment, are able to come to conclusions, are able to provide uh, things like vaccines to 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 keep us more keep us healthy and safe, yeah. And so this argument that somehow divine inspiration and science are contradictory to each other is not supported by scripture. And it certainly isn't supported by the traditions of, of people of faith throughout all of Christian history, or in most religious traditions. So this notion that, uh, that there we can attach some, uh, some religious uh, strength to the anti-vax position is respectfully very, very wrong and very dangerous. Now, I'm anxious to be reconciled with those people, not to, 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 to be vexed and at war with them. You know, that doesn't help. That's against the traditions of the bridge, which is to med mediate and reconcile. So I really just want to put that different view. We, we, perhaps we need a discussion, a more of an explication in Jamaica, to recognize that, that, that the discoveries of science, the, the, the opportunities of medicine, all of these things, not in every instance, not where they are contrary to principles of life, but where they are, in fact, conservative of life. And no one can doubt. There is no evidence that the vaccination is, in fact, helpful to promote health, to mitigate or prevent disease. Yeah, Th These things are not uh, ungodly. These things are very godly. And indeed, the, 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 the law, the immutable law of loving your neighbor as yourself requires that you undertake this as a moral obligation. I, I humbly but confidently predict or, or state. There's so much more when we come back. This is the early rise on the bridge, 99 FM. Good morning, Mr. Charles. Good morning, Master Ron. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thanks. You, you, look, you look like I'm on the morning. <laughs> well, thank you. Bright and shiny. Yes, and, and made happy by the company that we, we keep here, all of us on the bridge. Um, I, I am. You are? I, I, I know you don't bet. Uh -huh, no. Uh, but you bet if you're not taking the money. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was in Loeb Student Center when I heard the President of the United States say, turn them back. Yes. The Soviet Union yes. was sending missiles and all kind of high-powered thing Cuba. to Cuba. Yeah. I said, Cuba is in our domain. Yes. You can't come here. And if you come, yes. my word, hell is going to pop. Kennedy and Khrushchev. And, and so... Fidel says, send them, come, we're ready for them. And Khrushchev and Kennedy said, look here, this is American territory. So I turned the geography yeah. and look, where is Ukraine? Yeah. Ukraine is in Russia, actually. Yeah. And Russia is saying, don't send the NATO yeah. army here. Yeah. This is my yard, yeah. my territory. Yeah. Said, call home him children them mm -hmm. to come. And America is now calling home our children. And I am predicting that Soviet Union is going into NATO. G going into NATO? Going into to Ukraine. To Ukraine. Yes. And they're going there because they don't want the NATO alliance in their yard. But is this a revival of the Cold War? Well, <laughs> why don't you remove the word cold? Yes. It's a revival of hot war. <sighs> but and, then and so we have um, COVID. Yeah. We have all sorts of problems. Yeah. And the United States have, as you said this morning, yeah. they, they used to curse developing countries yeah. and dictatorships about their uh, Lack of democracy. Exactly. Yeah, look at them. And what I am seeing... You know, it's, it's like parents are saying to children, don't do it, but the parents walk right out before the children, go and do it. And do it. And expect the children not to. Yeah, well, you see, this is where we at 60 years old, sir, coming up for our independence this year, we have to show that we grow up 
and that we know we, we, we not, we're not going to confront anybody, but we are going to simply say this is not our standard. We have a better standard than this. But you know, you said something a few weeks ago, and I, I smile because when the election results were coming in, I think it was two terms ago, uh -huh. and the parties were neck and neck. Right. And when they reach up to what, 30, 29, yeah. or 20, or 30, yeah. 30. Yeah. And then the announcement was that the government of Jamaica uh -huh. had lost the election by one. One seat. One seat. Yes. And nobody said, hold on, there are two seats at the JLP one, or three seats that we wish to Overturn. query. Yes, wish query. To query. So we're not moving now until uh -huh. we take a few weeks yes, yes. to do that. Nobody but said that. No. They move out one seat. One seat. And I believe that was the, that was the, 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 the top of democracy yes. in Jamaica. Yes. When you, and it wasn't, remember, the, some seats were marginal. They know? were. And so we have not been doing badly. No. And you have been, you have been stating that our democracy in our voting situation, the, the, the organization that control our voting is one of the top in the world. It is, sir. And we, 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 have, to, we have to say that not, we must allow nothing to undermine that. And we agree with me that we must, we, we must use that example of, of doing something right together. We must use that mm. to carry into every other phase of, of, of our life. Why do you, why you, are you saying, what are you saying, <coughs> you saw what I get the headline? Yes, I, you, you, you brought a Nigerian paper yes. correctly, tackling corruption together. Right. Yes, we're going to read and discuss that another right. time. And then this one that, that interests me greatly, poor access to education, major factor stimulating poverty. Exactly. Well, so if that is the case, then I, I want to, 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 to press us on our listeners because the, you and I know that this is the end of January now. The announcement in the press this morning is that the budget debate will start on March the 8th. That's yes. barely a month from now, yes. six weeks. Now, w w if, if, if poor education is stimulating crime, if the Nigerian analysis is correct, it is, it, is, it is transferable to our situation in Jamaica. It's, it's stimulating poverty. Poverty, excuse and me. Poverty is creating crime. Yes, sir. But so I heard you said something, so I want to disturb you right there. Go, go ahead. Based on what I know, uh -huh. I have seen, yeah. I have listened to, yeah. some of these gangsters are richer than the richest men in Jamaica. Yes, sir. So isolate them from the poor. Separate them yes. from. But I remember that there are nearly 25,000 of them. Okay, sir. And they are taking care of communities. Yeah, but that's... Enough, enough, that, that, which is terrible. Those are you. not the ones who are being scraped up and, 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 and kept in detention without going to the courts. Could I surprise you and saying something? Yes, sir. And I am very fearful of saying it on the ear. Say it. However... Bold man. Communities. Yeah. The communities uh -huh. know more of them than you uh -huh. and I, the police and yeah. the military. Sure. That's some cannot talk, uh -huh. some will not talk. They have mouth, but they cannot talk. Right. They have eyes, but they don't see. Okay. And they have ears, and so, they don't hear. So put, put, put undercover police and military police, army, army people, insert them in the communities, and they will understand very soon where, who, are the, who are the movers and shakers. And you know, you said something. You recall that we had a... We had a, 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 a section of the police in Jamaica, what they used to call it, uh, that you don't know they are police. Yeah. Even some, as I used to uh, say, women Pla on the streets. Yeah, plain clothes. At nights. Yeah. Plain Intelligence. Clothes. Uh -huh. And man with long hair, uh -huh. not necessary, look like Rasta, but no. Rasta, them just wearing uh -huh. long hair. Uh -huh. And some man who begging on the street yeah. were police. Yeah. Well, special branch. Yes, special branch. We don't have it anymore. I don't know why. Because anything that is going to uncover uh, reasonable intelligence about criminality, that's it. But at the same time, please do not divert the nation's attention. Not that, you're, that, not that, is your, that you want to do that. From the underlying causes of crime. 
Yes, I was I was saying, and I'm pleading to you, sir. You you you're a trade unionist. The 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 situation in Westmoreland is entirely predictable, you know. Yes, entirely well, predictable. It's not excusable, no. but it is predictable. And it's not in Westmoreland alone. No, of course not. Because Westmoreland is not the only one that has lost sugar factories. Yeah. Westmoreland is not the only one that has lost jobs, yeah. opportunities, so, so lands, on, 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 you know. Uh-huh. So what are we what, what are we doing when 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 the sugar industry closes down virtually what do we put in place how what do we expect of people who are the victims of that and is not sugar alone no. like I remember 3000 people in eastern banana yes sir and banana and all over I'm Jamaica getting to that sure so so w- w- when when we carry on and we have an economy which favors banks and and, and people with with heavy capital financial institutions, doing better than ever, contributing more than ever to the political parties, yes? Occupying the seats of power, yes? There's one or, or, or more owners in this country who have more influence or can have more influence than the prime minister of the country. You believe me, yes? And when they are in charge, then, and, and, and people have... And I let you know they're in charge, you know? Of course, sir. And I tell you that if you Here don't... Hear Mr. Charles now, sir. Listen, us. Yeah, hold on. Yes. Yeah. And if you don't act certain way, yeah. it's not you next time. No, sir. They take the others. Absolutely. That is open hand waiting. Open hand waiting. So it's not a one sure. sided thing. And we, we who are in the political uh, arena, we are fools because what we do is wait for, pe- for, for the administration with the problems, with the systemic problems, to fall on its own sword. And we say, ah, ah, see, come, you know, it's our back, time come now. Come back to what we said weeks ago. Yeah. Is there a time for us to look at yes. our democracy? Yes. Is there a time for us to see how we can get there with more committed people? Sure. You, you have your political solution, yes. and and I have I have watched it uh, tried in other parts of the yes. world. Yes. I am not I am not I am not opposed to it trying here. No, but you're not However, certain. but mm-hmm. I understand what you call mm-hmm. it proportional representation. Proportional. That mm-hmm. means. Various sectors will proportion will put a portion uh-huh. according to the people's vote. Right, put a portion of, of you and people me. in 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 the authority. parliament or sure. in the authority of governance. Yes, sir. It's 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 so good, you know. Mm-hmm. But just like how it took us decades mm-hmm. to even straighten out PNP and JLP and anybody else who come, mm-hmm. it is not going to happen overnight. No, sir. But and I'll the education that you talk about, right. that if we educate them, uh-huh. it will solve some of the crime. As I didn't, in my word, some of you didn't use the word some of yeah. right? Yeah. Some of the gangs, right. if we educate them, them no poor, them no want $15,000 a week. No, man sir. said to me, say, boss, yes, that's sir. a one night dinner. Yes, but the, the, there are some who will take it, and the, the more you can redeem from the from from, from the ab- abjectness and, and futility of life connected with poverty, it is the better you do it. I You read that from the article. We were being <laughs> you just right. <laughs> but running, remember them telling you what is being some done of now. these guys are not high school guys they're way above high school and therefore those are the ones you go after with the police if you tell me that you are you are uh, are needing particular measures in order to apprehend gun gun runners yeah, drug pushers yes i don't have a problem with that that is what the law must do i do not i'm not one of those who believes i'm not I, I i i like to think of myself as a pacifist but certainly not one of those who believe you must lay down and, and and let iniquity advantage you no but but that is not what is happening what is happening is that that, that those are maintaining their position those persons and 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 what is happening is that so many who are not of that disposition at all are being lured into it by sheer desperation. And, and, uh, well, desperation, I mean attraction, because some of them, <laughs> but, but, but. Ronnie, of course it's attraction. I'm agreeing with you. Right. But what, what if, we're if doing you is. Say, you know how much for one, one, one bullet? Yes, sir. And the man them fire two, 300 yes, sir. So one they, time. Where them get it from? Not only where they get it from, where they get money to pay for it, because Exa- exactly, it has to sir. be bought somewhere. Of course, sir. 
And over the past few days, yes, sir. we have seen some guns uh -huh. and bullets. Uh -huh. Some of the guns that... Yeah. Who, it is leaving America and them can't find out. That's right, sir. And, and they... they if you if you have a little ring in the bottom of your suitcase, uh -huh. them have a thing like a poo poo, yeah. and then <laughs> <laughs> and they can poo all them long rifles. So, Mr. That Tal, man I put them so, things so, and come to man to come So in. tell me, sir, when is the last time we have seen one gun runner, one gun runner, brought to justice in this country? Caught. Tell me when. Uh, when. when? 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 When is the last time you hear America say they stop and they say they're not telling us? Uh -huh. No, well, my God, <laughs> if all that we find right. and all that we know we don't find right. and them is stopping some, yeah. all that we don't need to need for runway. Well, you, perversely, one would have to agree with you. But that th this is a, this is the, wh why don't we deal with with, with 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 what is fundamental? So, so. The, the chief of the army, we want to respect her, we want to congratulate her. She finds herself in parade gardens yesterday, meeting the people, wonderful. Meeting the security forces, building morale, building confidence. Yes? Mm -hmm. But that is, the, the people in Central Kingston, in, in parade gardens, uh, they don't manufacture guns and bullets. Yeah, but you don't expect her to, to go and greet the gangs. I don't expect her to she do that. Find no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I am not criticizing what she does. You know, oh, oh, all I'm okay. saying, all I'm saying, yeah. is that that is not the essential thing to do. If you, if, what is needed for, <laughs> I, I feel so 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 inadequate to say this. What is needed in that environment is two things. <clears throat> One, separate action that is going to prevent the leaking of lethal weaponry into those communities. One. And two, genuine uplift of the, of the abject, desperate banality and, po and poverty in that region, which no government, including my own tenure there, has been able to do. You could yeah. help certain individuals, but you could never lift up that community with the resources that you well, had. Uh, let me help you out on a point. I heard somebody in the bed just say, well, look, you, you, you're criticizing the lady, but you are not. You are welcoming the fact that she has started to visit areas, and I'm sure it's not Central Kingston alone she's going to go, or I hope it's not Central Kingston. But the important point that we have to find out and ask, yes, that is good, but... Is there a way of getting a discussion with the gangs? Is there a way when you listen to whether it's true or false? Uh -huh. I believe uh -huh. the man said, when Montego Bay here said, uh -huh. Kingston got 500 murder mm -hmm. and them only gone 420. Mm -hmm. They get instruction to go, go, go find 85. Okay, sir. Well, if and then shoot anybody. Yeah. So, so tell me now. They say that over the weekend, the security forces, in the midst of this terrible, terrible, worse ever, that w I heard it over the news, 20 people murdered over two, a two-day period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, terrible. When we, w w I want to hear from them. Yes, please. What, w w where is your effort being put in order to stanch that? Where is it coming from? What are you? What, what, what are we doing? You ask. My view is in many of these areas. If you had two hundred jobs in Central Kingston, no, much of the gunplay would would rust. Rani, I will let us disagree for one time for ten minutes. You want what you want? Four hundred jobs. <laughs> I am saying that the real gangster. Yes, sir. Won't be touched by that. But the real gangster, if don't the real gangster. Oh, will be well, well, let me let me let me say it for you because I know you're going to hit me with it. Hmm. The real, if you go after the potential mm -hmm. gangster, yes, sir, and clean him shoes, put Se on a pants, yeah. give him a little work, or give him a, a job. Yeah. He is not going to put his life on the line no. to go and carry a gun no. to fire 500 And if things. he sees advantage for himself, he's going to tell you who it is offering the gun. If Eventually. he knows that he can talk to you. If he knows. So, so I, want, <laughs> I want to say to the military lady, yeah. the country has a lot of respect for military. Mm -hmm. It has been shattered a little mm -hmm. by one or two or three or four of the 
gangs that's getting into the military and carrying on like they're in the police. Mm -hmm. And the police is trying to clean it up to see that they, you know, we can have a thing. If we can't get rid of that, if we have gangs in the military, mm -hmm. gangs in the police, and gangs in the community, mm -hmm. they are going to tell me and you who mm -hmm. refuse to join them or say what we know. Mm -hmm. That our eyes must be blind, mm -hmm. our ears must be mm -hmm. deaf, mm -hmm. and our mouth must yeah. be dumb. Yeah, I, I acknowledge the risk, but I'm saying that that is a risk that has to be taken and overcome by the superiority of the response being given by government on behalf of honest people. And I'm, and I'm, I'm relating to exactly what you, the article from, that you quoted from Nigeria, that it is poor and inadequate education that is fueling poverty, and it is, fu it is poverty that is, that, that, is, that is fueling crime. The people who, who interacted with me on, what was it, May 20th, 20th or what it was, at the corner of East Queen Street and Duke Street, the white-clad ladies who were walking up to Parliament, Yes, to, to, and, and who, at the corner there, yes, I was standing at the corner there. And said, to it, you're a Jesus man. Do the self free with Jesus. Come join me. Carry in at the, carry in at the place, mm -hmm. in the parliament. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why were they defending Dudus? Because Dudus was able to give them things. Dudus represented a, an, an, a, a, an authority, a, a, a safety, a, a back to school arrangement. Yes, that, that state that they couldn't provide for themselves and which the state didn't provide. What does that say to you, Mr. Charles? Well, it say that if if <laughs> if Mr. Mr. whoever it is, yeah. Mr. Twitter and Mr. Charles yes. was able to move right. that yes. from a little section does Tivoli, but to even Kingston yes, sir. and St. Andrew, uh -huh. Sarah Catherine and Clarendon don't even touch yet. Uh -huh. You know? It's it's a song that you to really think about. But that about. is that that is what we that is that is what public service requires. That is what makes worthwhile that which you and I, you more than me, have devoted your life to. That yes. is what it's it's all about. That is the answer. It has to be, and I'm saying, sir, very practically, very pra very practically, that w w in the makeup of this budget coming, if we do not see the emphasis on that, then we are not going in the right direction. And somebody said to me, if we could mobilize the money that it is costing us to put the military and the police right, sir. out there yes, sir. and send the money with a social group, uh -huh. Ronnie, I am not sure, uh -huh. based on what I have seen, mm -hmm. that those guys yeah. are ready and willing. No, th not the leaders. I we accept that. But the, the people, leaders the are not ready. The, the followers going the, to be ready. Very much so, because the followers can be diverted. They don't wish to go into that. They don't see it. They want opportunity. They want prospect. They want, they, they, they want their minds. This is what the army is to do. If you need a, le a, a level of constraint to ensure that, call, count on me. I believe that that is salvific. The other one is murderous. Yes? So and let the, me agree with you mm -hmm. that if we were able to mobilize funds mm -hmm. and opportunities, mm -hmm. For the teenage boy mm -hmm. who drop out at age 13 and mm -hmm. 14, mm -hmm. can't sign him name, yeah. cannot get a job yeah. at Grace Kennedy. Look at, look at doc, what Dr. Horace Chang is saying of his own constituency. Yes. Yes? That he's losing, a, 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 he, he, it was almost close to a majority of the students at that level are, are dropping out of school. He told us that months ago. Yeah, but. So what, what are we doing about that? What? Hold on, hold on. Because <laughs> you're looking at me as if you're asking me. No. We. When am I going to? <laughs> when, am I, when, am I, when am I going to get? When are you, Colonel Charles? When are you going to get to it? We, 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 we. What, we. what running? It's a serious matter. Yeah. Last it sentence. It is increasing mm -hmm. daily yes. in quantum. Yes. And it is not young men alone. No. It is young men, uh -huh. young women. Yes. Older men, yes. older women, yes. a 
part of the population. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, my own humanity, my own sense of that we, we are all created by God for a purpose in life, refuse, makes, makes me have to refuse to think that these people are congenitally evil and deserve to be shot down by or, or locked up um, just and that they, they, they're irredeemable. If you take that view, you demean your own humanity and your own life becomes further in jeopardy than even from the gunman himself. They Let's take a break on the, on the early <laughs> rise. There's much more. I want to hear more from the chief when we come back. This is the early rise on the bridge. The Honorable Colonel Charles is with me. <laughs> we, we, we are la we're having a laugh with Audley, you know, because look here, we, 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 we canvas every aspect of life, eh? Mm. And we're talking about the utter creativity and invent inventiveness of Jamaican language. If, 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 many pe if some people, not many, if some people question the validity of our motto, out of many one people, Yes. What 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 we can say is out of many languages one. One. <laughs> <laughs> because we can we 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 have created words as as Audley is, is is pointing out. Um Audley's our music man by the way. Um as he's pointing out the, the, even even the Americans <clears throat> are are amazed at, at the elision of language that we have, we have improved the English language greatly, you know, Mr. Right. Charles. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean... I saw. I saw. I saw you go on. As, as well, as, well I, I need to tell you this one. Um, I picked up an old lady going to church. Yes. Um, and she, a country lady. And the first question she asked me, as she get in the car, she had, tie head lady. She said, ask me if I know Jesus. So I said, well, I'm trying to. She said, well, him and me there, 40 years, no, no, no. <laughs> Hold on, that is high science. High you science. Know. But because you know what she means. I know what she means. She means that I have accepted she, the Lord. No, yes. And, she, and I have walked with him, no, yes. prayed with him. So he he has guided there. me. Yes. But 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 very importantly, it indicates a, a depth. When when people say them day with somebody else, it means a sexual, an intimate relationship. Mm, yes? yes. And 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 it's so her her relationship that she's describing by that simple word, yes. day. Yeah. She dare with him. Yes. yes. In involves everything. A, 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 a closeness <laughs> of acceptance, as yeah, you were saying. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And and, and so, lady had so, asked so me, expressive. A lady had asked me. <laughs> she hear a woman talking nice thing about me. She asked me if me and her keep. <laughs> so, Kip. So, so, my brother named Kipling, you know. Okay. So I thought she was just if me know Kip. Yeah. <laughs> When she was asking me if if me and her keep, keep. <laughs> <laughs> if you she there, <laughs> if me and her there, <laughs> I'm gonna say, e -e. <laughs> <coughs> I tell you, this man is not ordinary. Uh, we people are not ordinary. Jamaicans all over the world. You hear this? <laughs> I saw it go. Listen to me now. We we veer from the sublime to the ridiculous to the tragic. Chicken price will go up 10%, Mr. Charles. No, my wife said that they need to go to the supermarket. Not no go so. Oh, yeah. If it's percentage double that, yes, and it's not chicken one. No, double and that. And she said that the 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 the, 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 the trolley mm -hmm. that people use to overflow and not drop off. Uh -huh. Right, you can't look down in the trolley. No, no. So, but 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 look at look at what the chicken producers are saying. Yes, that over the past is it two years a sixty one percent rise in their in energy costs, a hundred percent rise in the cost of corn, a sixty one percent um rise in the cost of soya that is pr propelling their their the increase that they're asking now. And if you look at it, it's more than twenty eight percent increase, compounded, compounded yes, yes. before you even reach this twenty percent over the last couple of years. And and how, if, pe how if, people go manage, sir? If he's listening, yes. you have a fellow named Levy. Yes. Who reputable people. It's uh, him and God there. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Robert. Honorable Robert. A very, very decent man. Yes. And I I'm, I'm confident <laughs> yeah. that he wouldn't add on anything that wasn't. But Ronnie, what bothers me mm -hmm. is that all the companies mm -hmm. 
have been putting out major profits. Yeah, of course. That well, is how can you be having major profits very easily. when all of us, yeah. the rest of us, uh-huh. are down the line, licking off the ball and I'll catch it? Very easily, because y- there, there's a certain inelasticity of demand. In other words, people have to eat, so they buy something, yes? Secondly, the, 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 f- the facilitation <clears throat> that is given to these, many of these companies, their capacity and their, their ingenuity too, is, is, is commendable, you know. The only thing is that it is not designed primarily to, uh, to, to meet the needs of everybody in the society. It is designed primarily to, to serve the shareholders. Well, there was a time. When you couldn't raise dividends, the good price you know. unless the government the price, approved. Pri- pr- pri- prices commission. Prices well, commission. I, <laughs> and, and that was abandoned because. Free enterprise. Let the market well, b- yes. rule. I remember. Which I don't know if you. you no, I don't accept you're, that. You're not. You're, you're no. not. You're no. not a free enterprise, man. Not, 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 un, not unregulated free enterprise. I believe that the, the market has a, a, and competition have a lot to offer us. But where it is unbridled, where it can do anything it pleases, what it does is to ensure the inequality that is, that is at the heart of our Jamaican dilemma. Where people have to purchase what they need because yeah. it's, it's need, right? Yeah. So I, 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 I think before we, we, we get to our guest, Sadoma Patterson, this morning from Canada, I wonder about our prime minister. And not just him, because others have done the same thing. He is the one. Remember, he, he, he attracted the attention of the Jamaican consumer when he brought that basket into Parliament yes. during the PNP time yes. and pointed out how much under pressure the consumer was. Yes. What, is, what does he think now? Because that pressure is double. Not, not because of him. I'm not blaming him entirely. Okay. But the cert, but he you is, must be expect that is somebody is trying to carry the basket. Well, <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> but but that, that but we but we recognize we recognize oh, yes. that I'm that's sure, not going I'm to sure solve. He, I'm sure he recognizes yeah. that. So 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 why don't we be honest with ourselves and say, well, look now, this is be, this is all of this is happening, not because of the iniquity of the other side, yes, but because of a systemic usually international causation that we have to face. You know, every, every day that the Vale Royal talks do not continue, yes? And every day that we do not try to build consensus between various forces in the economy, in the society, it is those criminal elements that you speak of, those big men, who are laughing at us, you know, well, don't because they know they can play off one against the other. Yes. Yes? And they that are, they're a part of the system. Well... So, <laughs> so, but you must talk about conclusion and not necessarily discussion. Okay, sir. Because we can chat for a whole year. Okay. So let us let us have conclusion. Right? So let us whether it's Vera Royal or Jamaica House or King's House, right, sir. We need to come together. What the headlines say? Yeah. Right. Yes. We have to work together. We have to conclude. So, <laughs> and we there are two sides. Uh-huh. If 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 just mm-hmm. one side agree yeah. uh-huh. and one side don't uh-huh. agree. It separates it the nation. You know that, Granny? <laughs> yes, sir. So let me put a point to you. Let me put a point to you. The vexed issue now. We talk about conclusions. The vexed issue about the state of emergency. Mm. Yes? Um, I, I'm against the state of emergency. Yes. Right? For one reason. Two reasons. One, because I don't think it will work. That's the history. Mm. Yeah? And, and two, because a state of emergency allows for the kind of, of iniquity that you personally suffered. That is being detained without being charged and without being taken to court. Yes? Mm-hmm. No. Some. <clears throat> if you say. Some. If, wait now. If you say that um, if, if, you are per, you, if you on one side, government, yes. are persuaded that a state of emergency would allow you to, 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 to get better uh, approach to crime. Yes. yes. I am prepared to concede that for a limited period that is so. What I w- would, would want a concession from you is that any person who is taken in, it detained is brought before a court yes. for a review of their custody yes. every week, every two weeks. Okay? But that has always been the... No, sir. It, it, Rani, in, a, in a state when of they emergency, picked me up not. in June <laughs> 1966, mm-hmm. the parliament had 
pass a law which say you must go before the committee. Yeah, but that's, and I was, you know that I was, I spent the longest time in, in detention. Yes, sir. I was picked up the first week. Yes, sir. And never come out again. So, so Everybody look, who was picked up yeah. came out six months, three months, nine yeah, months. Yes, but, but <clears throat> I don't want it to be at the discretion of some policeman or politician. I want your liberty to be subject to the review of, of an impartial court. Yeah, now, yeah. don't tell me, yes, that if... <clears throat> If Peter Bunting and Horace Chang sat down as two honest Jamaicans, okay, and said, well, all right, now, we, 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 20 deaths over two days is obviously an emergency. Yes? Mm. Okay. We ne you, you say you need a, a, what you call a state of emergency, what the Constitution calls a state of emergency. Let's do two things. Let's modify it two, in two ways. One, let's put limits on it. Okay? Three months. Six months, limited area, maybe. And two, let us, let, let us agree, yes, that any person who is detained is brought before a court on a regular basis to justify the, either their continued custody or their liberty. Yeah, but when, when you pick what up... What is wrong when, with that? When you pick up 600 people... 600 people, when you pick up 600, that inherently is wrong. Well, six, six or, no, that, that, that is, that is a, and, and you, you see what bothers me? I really want to believe in my prime minister, you know, because he's mine too, so long as he's in office, mm. yes? But when he speaks about, about spear fishing rather than net fishing in terms of going after criminals, picking up 600 people is not spear fishing. That's not based no, on any no, intelligence. No, actually, I wasn't saying he picked up 600. No, I was saying I was, among, I was among the 600. That was and it was wrong. Yeah, but, yeah, but look, 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 hold so on. So why we don't change it? Yes. Make it right. Okay. If we can find what is right yeah. and we can organize it, yeah. then we won't have a problem. So let us do that so, now. So we should, but can we? But we can, but we're not even talking. What we're doing is going at each other's throats as if we are, we, we are reciprocal oh. criminals. Oh, hear what somebody said to it's me. It's only Pernell and Ronnie talking. Yeah, but hear what, hear what, hear what somebody is saying the other day, <laughs> that if... If you were, you, Pernell Charles, was representing the government, mm. and you, Mr. Tweet, was representing the opposition, mm. it's a completely different thing. No, because guess what? We are not elected, and we're not seeking seeking election. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but if I was God in my side, uh -huh. because the people who are listening uh -huh. have to be convinced uh -huh. which of us I'm going to support, yeah. it makes a little difference, or a big difference. Well, you know, let me tell you. <laughs> there comes there, I, 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 there I, comes a stage when 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 the, the, to 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 have the maintenance of your power or my power as being your primary motivation and decision uh, decision making uh, guide that that it's that's pointless. Hold on, that's absolutely hold on. pointless. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. To you, no. Uh -huh. To you, no. To me, no. Yes, sir. But when we are on the ground, yes, sir, mobilizing so, so for you it, to get more than me. So what is the point of <laughs> what is the point of wisdom and insight? Well, I, I don't. That is why I tell you that. Why it's, it's, it's very that is, hard. What is, well, no, it, I'm, well, let me concede. It's very hard. But what is the point of of experience and wisdom? Do you know a politician who would like to say? When I'm a winner, I lose. May I do my this way? Oh, I think er Erskine Sandiford did that. He's one of my he political heroes Who that? In, in Barbados. Erskine Sandiford, the later <laughs> he is, where he had to make certain moves in respect of the public service. I think Mr. Siaga, not a person who I agreed with politically in all respects, but came to have more regard for later on when I had ch a chance to understand him better. When he, w w in the 80s, when he reform, took steps to reform the public service, yes, yes, and suffered politically for it in eighty nine, yes, yes, among other things, yes. I believe that there are people, and in any event, I believe that if you it, you you minimize you minimize the consequence of that when you do it in concert with other with other political factors, you blunt the cost that you are going to face if it is an agreement between Charles and Twits. Well, Ronnie, let me give you one. You must be right, Pernell. This time you're reading the article that both of us right. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the bridge stands for. That is but, why we come but, and do but, what we do. Ronnie, I recall yeah. when the security force, yeah. the military yeah. and the, the, the police yeah. said to the politicians, uh -huh. 
give me three more weeks. Uh-huh. We have cornered them. Yeah. We want three weeks to go for them. Yeah. And we remove it and yeah. let them go. Yeah. Well, I didn't know about that. Um, and if if and uh, if if you didn't that, know about no that. no if I just say so you weren't around I don't you, know. you weren't a party but that was when yeah. but if if that is the case why would it have been refused it would have been refused because we weren't in in the habit and 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 in the mentality of talking to each other so <coughs> so what we do is view every decision on behalf of the people yes in state of emergency chicken price who get work how the budget make up. We view all of that through the p- prism of, of, of partisan power rather than the national interest. What the hell is the use of that? You notice I never <laughs> answer you. No, you can't answer me. Because I make you win that one. But, but, but it, it, it is, it, this is a dilemma. How, how can you have 20 Jamaicans murdered over the last two days and the, Ronnie, and the main Ronnie, Ronnie, political who, actors are not sitting down? Hold on. Who is murdering them? <coughs> Who, who, no, 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 no. Who is murdering the people? Mm-hmm. Who has murdered them? Yeah. Politicians? No, but we have to do something about Pastors? it. Pastors? No. I hope Private not. sector people? I really don't know. Hold on. Ronnie, uh-huh. let us stop believing that me and you, uh-huh. right, have the responsibility for murdering those no, pretty no, people. No, no, that's no. That's not what I'm saying. Right? I'm it is our country, no, yes. But peace. And we are in charge to Sir see peace. that the police and the military get in there and get those guns and those gunmen and gun women. Sir Peter, yes, but, sir, but but to do that, yes, to do that, yes, we're not responsible for the murder. We never pull any trick or, or, or <laughs> brandish any <laughs> knife. <laughs> but the, but there are w- the, the 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 answer to it, the surcease of it demands joint action, and that joint action is what we are preventing prevented from taking by this lust for power. And this hatred of 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 Say the it other. again. When when mm. I join with you yeah. and a solution come, mm. you get the praise. But so that what? That is what that is what they're saying. But then so what? So I'm not I am not I am not if voting for a, no social. I'm not a, voting for emergency. If we have because a, emergency going to bring a solution to the thing, and you go and say it's you lick your chest. No, but that's crazy. But that's what that's that is what so, me and so, you talk so about I, the loss for power and the power some, itself. But, but how, how, how I'm asking a question, a pointed question. Yes. Yes. This morning, the 23rd of January, 2020, yes. when Jamaica is 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 caught in the crucible of COVID, of crime, of corruption. Yes. How is it that those people who are intent, whether they are sworn yet or whether they're in office or out of office, as 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 leaders of this country, how come they are not sitting down to work out a common solution? Who, who, wh- what law of God, what constitution, what, wh- what slavish fidelity to, 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 to a colonial model of government prevents that? One just whispered to me in my ears and said, we tried it in parliament. Tried what? And one said, no, come. Tried Because what? we tried sitting down. We tried coming to a conclusion. When? Where? We tried Where? having something that is both of us. Where? That the rest of people can Where? do. Where? When? In parliament. No, sir. What we do is come to Parliament and say, you know what you do? The agreement, the solution to this thing is for you to agree with me. No discussion, no compromise. You must agree with me because I am powerful, because I am in charge, because I say so. That, yep. is, not, that, is, that, is, that is not what we're talking well, about. Couldn't, I couldn't say that when I was in there and you were there because you'd get up and say, Mr. Speaker, yeah. I have a presentation. Yeah. Sure. Representing my people, Mr. Warmington, would say the same thing. Hello, sir. Let right. me tell you something. A lot of what goes on in Parliament is indicative of a wrong mentality and, and renders Parliament virtually useless. Parliament is a rubber stamp for the executive of this country, and that is fundamentally wrong if the executive is chosen and, and subsists in the way that it is. I am being radical in that regard. No, but, but your radicalism there, in my opinion, needs to be examined. Because you were in the executive. I was in the executive yes, for five terms. Yes, sir. And I have an occasion to uh-huh. carry things to parliament yeah. from the executive yes. that the parliament has sought an amendment and got it. Yes. To that extent, to that extent, I modify my position. But that is rare. It, it, of course it's rare because it's also rare that they, they try to modify 
So therefore, we have to look See at but we have to look at the efficiency the, 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 of, of our institutions. And if they are not effective, yes, if they are not effective, you know, the worst thing was when I used to hear Perkins laugh at what um, who was it who said that about Parliament being two warring tribes uh, 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 contending against each other. Was and, it and it was because, because they couldn't come to the, come to a decision that both agreed to. Yes, sir. So what is the point? What is the point of, of all, all? But but that's a competitiveness mm. that Parliament no, 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 produced. Com com and out of that competition, <laughs> we must come to an agreement. Yeah, but it doesn't happen. What we what we do is come to a disagreement. Lord Ronnie man, no, no but it's not, true. Not bad look, man. At, look at it, face it. In most issues, yes, in most issues, that is the case. This is why we began the discussion, sir, <coughs> celebrating the electoral uh, institutions. Yes, because that is mm -hmm. one in which we did come to a conclusion, and thank God for it. And look how it good. Why we can't do that, in respect of of, of crime, in respect of COVID, yes. Why we can't do that? Because one side have a different view from the other. So, so come we sit one down. One side have a view that if I do it this come way, we sit down I'll get more Hello. Vote. Come we sit down and quit it out now. I am suggesting in respect no, of no, the state that, of emergency. Uh, so, how so, we do it? So both of us. I, I have the solution. I put it to you. Uh, both of us have the solution. Yes, sir. The solution is come we sit down. Yeah. Throw it in the mix. Yes, sir. And don't get up until uh, two of us agree yeah. that when we reach Parliament, yeah. your side say yeah, yeah. my side say yeah, yeah and they reach the Senate, you yeah. don't have a bad man get up and say go away with that. No. So what you do, and, and when we finish talk... Well, hold on. Sorry. Mm. After Parliament comes the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because you have to hit the street. the street. With, 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 Hello. With, of with course. the various agencies. Right, so but then somebody, somebody, w what we do is go out and say... Look here, Pernell and I have sat down. We've worked out the solution. It's not all that I agree with, but I'm accepting that there have to be compromises for what I would have wanted in order that we have this common cause so that the two of us can hit the street, yes, and say, watch now. This may not be the best, but the best must never be the enemy of the good. And so this is, the good is a compromise that we have made, whether it is about state of emergency, whether it is about how the budget make up, whether it is about how we reform the public sector, God knows how we reform the education sector, how we split the, 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 the hundred dollar. All of these things, it's the only way to do it. There's the futility of what we have been doing for the last 60 years is facing us. So it's coalition you're talking? Of course. And, and, and so proportional representation. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. What's the difference between a coalition and proportional representation? Uh, well, it, it, there, there, there are distinctions. In a coalition, usually you're, you're talking about um, two, two equal parties. Two I'm not equal suggesting parties that. and agreeing, agreeing in one one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's what the democracy is calling for? Yes, sir. And that's they're calling, they're you are saying <laughs> yes. that both sides yes. must agree yes. on behalf of the rest of us? Yes. Both sides. That's what election does. That's, that's what it, representation means. Right, yeah. One, 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 one leads. Mm -hmm. One is prime no, minister, no, one get up absolutely. first. Absolutely. But it's, the other one is also elected. In, it, and also also has a role. No. Yes. Difficult, you know. Of, no, but it has a role. Yes. And, and both sides have to recognize that they, both of them have a role. Right, sir. That when it comes out, it must come out as one. Yes, sir. It, it's two, you know. Yeah, when we meet in Garden come out as one. When we meet in Garden House. Yes, that is not our approach. No, because at that time you have to seek to say <laughs> that people who are hearing mm -hmm. say, yeah, me go and vote back yeah. for you. So, so or me, go, me now vote back for yeah, you. Well, you see, that the first you can hear is, uh, but that you see. So what? What? What is what? What my my power, personal power, and collectively my party's power becomes becomes superimposes becomes higher than the common good. Exactly. So what is the use of that? Well, well, when, hold on, when, hold when, when, when you're dead, when you're oh, dead, hold, hold and, you, and, you, and you reach heaven with your most honorable, how are you going to justify that, Baba? It's the same thing never go to school when we go to school. Let me tell you what <laughs> When two boys yeah. decide to them all fight, mm. and one start crying, mm. you better run. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. When one man start crying, mm -hmm. a bad get bad, you know? Mm -hmm. When one man... So... If the Prime Minister was really crying, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he reached the end. He reached the end. And Bridget, guess what? Uh -huh. He reached the end for runway, you know? No. 
You reach in and forget bad. Yeah. So so how that help us? <laughs> how that well, take if, us if any when further? When he not cry, he not help. When he not cry, he not help. <laughs> well, how, so, how government help us? But you see, how election <laughs> help us? <laughs> and we, can, we can't do without it. No, we don't have to. Run a seat there. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nearing our time. Hey, we're going to shift the argument, you know. We are going to welcome Adoma Patterson. She's born and raised in Winnipeg in Canada, but she spent several years in Jamaica attending Vars Prep School, and she's spent more than 25 years uh, of progressive experience in the not-for-profit and public sectors in Canada. She's currently manager of the Poverty Reduction and Community Engagement in the Human Services Department at the region of Peel in Canada. She's responsible for leading an implementation of a multi-year poverty reduction strategy. And she is also the president of the Jamaican Canadian Association. We link the diaspora. We rate the people who carry fly the flag of Jamaica wherever they are. Let's take a break. When we come back, the early rise on the Bridge 99 excites you with that interview. Soon come. This is the early rise on the Bridge 99 FM, streaming the, the word, the song, the music, the meaning to the Jamaicans all over the world. Is Adoma Patterson on the line? Not yet. Okay, we were waiting on her. Lady with tremendous experience in Canada, tremendous devotion to her native land, even though she was born abroad, even though... She was born, she had Jamaican parents. Jamaican parents, no doubt. We'll find out. And so, so yeah. some of our leaders who yeah. weren't really born here. Weren't, yeah, indeed. So yeah. we go. He Hello, Miss Patterson. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Well, good well, morning. Well, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and bright and early, early rise. <laughs> Indeed, and I want to introduce you to the Honorable Pernell Charles, who is my co-host. Yes, good morning, Chief Charles. Good morning, sure. ma'am. How are you? I am very, very well. This is a great way to start the week, Indeed. so thank you so much for inviting what me What a pleasure. Here. Tell us your story. I believe you have Jamaican roots. Yes. So um, my name is Adoma Patterson, and yes, my parents are Jamaican. My mm. mom is from Westmoreland, yeah. uh, <laughs> and my father is from Kingston. So mm. I was born in Canada, um, but actually started school in, in Jamaica. I started at Vaz Prep what, when the, uh, Mrs. Hewlett was My goodness, <laughs> listen to that. <laughs> the, the, the tremendous school of great pedigree, Vaz Prep. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, so, uh -huh. yes, I have a little, you know, connection, uh, but very involved in the Jamaican-Canadian community here in Toronto, in the greater Toronto area, um, and I'm the current president of the Jamaican-Canadian Association. Tell us about that association. Tell us w what it does, uh, who, yes. uh, who are the membership. Yes, so... Uh, that we, we fondly refer to it as the JCA, and many of the elected officials in Jamaica who come to Toronto know it's always the place to, to go, the Jamaican Canadian Centre located in Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, we turned 60 uh, years old this year, just like Jamaica. Excellent, <laughs> wonderful. Yes. We were founded in 1962 uh -huh. by a group of Jamaicans who had uh, immigrated at that time. So we have been going strong, and actually our uh, first president, Roy Williams, mm -hmm. is 93 this year oh, and is him. still alive and yeah. active in the JCA. Will you greet him for us? Will you thank him on behalf of the Jamaicans who are hosting the, and, and, and listening to this program? That is a tremendous gift. Can you imagine? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Ab That's absolutely. public service. Yes. Yes, yes, very much. And the JCA members are passionate. Uh -huh. You know, uh, in 1962, when they started, they came together because there were only a few of them, you know, and uh, they were feeling kind of isolated and lonely at the time, very much the story in the diaspora. And since that time, we have grown. Mm -hmm. um, we have many, many members uh, throughout the Toronto area. And we focus on providing cultural mm -hmm social support, so whether that's tutoring classes for young people on Saturdays. Uh, we have a vibrant seniors club, the Caribbean Canadian really? Seniors yes, Club. Good, good. 
they meet every Tuesday and Thursday, even during the pandemic, because, you know, in Canada, we're in sort of lockdown mode. Oh, Lord. Still. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and we have been basically since March of 2020. Yes, so, just like us. So, yes, uh-huh. yes. So the seniors have learned how to use Zoom. Mm-hmm. and how to do their workshops. Tomorrow they have a, a wonderful storytelling session with Sandra Whiting, who is a Jamaican storyteller. Wonderful. Uh, yes, so keep, you know, folks engaged, motivated, reduce isolation. We're so proud that, um, you know, since the pandemic, we were able to really support the community. We had a meal program, so every Saturday, we would go and cook because we have a big center. It's like 20,000 square feet. Great. And we would go and cook meals, uh, a nice Jamaican meal, and volunteers would deliver those to seniors and other vulnerable residents throughout the greater Toronto area. Oh, that's wonderful. I didn't, we didn't know about that. No. Um, yes. And, and that, that is, that, that's a very down-to-earth, grassroots stuff that keeps people's hope up and makes their their national connection worthwhile eh? Uh, absolutely absolutely and we were really proud that grace foods came on board oh no grace look foods at that canada to yes their, to their credit to their, to their credit. credit yes they've been wonderful grace and they absolutely yes. uh-huh. you know so it was really really important um it has been important during the pandemic because food is a connector uh-huh. and when you can't leave your home um, it's always important to remember that there's somebody in the community who, you know, remembers you yeah. and can provide that jerk chicken and rice and peas or that soup. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Ak- Aki, I'm selfish. <laughs> hard, harder that one because the Aki is so scarce. The Aki was hard, yeah. Yes. Hard to get the Aki. Can you imagine that? Uh, and that, 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 that is a word for us here, you know, because we could have grown plenty, plenty more Aki and sent to you. Oh, you know? yes, yes, yes. We yes. so would, we would yeah. love it. And I heard a little of Steve McDonald's interview, and, yeah. and there are so many products yes. that, um, that, that would really sell, you know, uh-huh. in Canada. Well, no, f- so. f- first of all, uh, we want to make the bridge your a source of Jamaican information and uh, the source of Jamaican expression because it's not only we have to tell you what's going on here, you have to reflect on what your nati- what is happening in your native land, what your hopes and dreams are. And this, yes. is, this is the medium that we want to offer you. So, anytime anyone in the Jamaica Canadian and association wants to talk. We're willing, eh? Oh, that's fantastic. <clears throat> that's fantastic. Thank you. And, you know, part of that bridge that we make, um, we, in, I think, 2019, we created an international students group. And the majority of uh, the students, so mm-hmm. these are young people and older people who, are, uh, who decided to come to Toronto, um, and most of them are Jamaican. Yeah. And so we connect to them. Um, we help them connect to things like employment. We review resumes. Really? And the process of permanent residency, you know, walks them through that. They learn Look from each that. other. Well, uh, so practical. over 300. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, Having yes. So, yes, over 300 are actually part of the group. And so we're thrilled mm-hmm. at a whole new a cohort of, um, you know, who will be newcomers to Canada uh, have now joined the JCA, you know, in a, in a concrete way. And so I, that's an example of what JCA has done, you great. know, over 60 years. Yes. I don't know, right? Patterson, is Canada kind to, to, to immigrants from the Caribbean? Are, are they welcoming? Uh, you know, um, yes and no. Uh, my mom arrived in 1962, and so she had lots of stories like many then. It was a really tough time, and racism was a, a, um, very obvious and prominent. Uh, racism still exists. It is still hard to for people to get the permanent residency, for example. Um, and sometimes when people need additional supports, you know, for their children, maybe the children aren't doing well in school or... Um, it you have to know how to navigate the system. Yes. Um, so it, it depends, right? And we actually, for example, I got a, a text message from a farm worker, a Jamaican farm worker on the weekend, um, having some issues with his employer, um, got sick and really was not getting a lot of support and didn't know how to connect, right, to the the liaison officer and really how to understand what their rights are. And so farm workers, the migrant workers, every year there are issues 
um, you know, and they have very little voice, right? And they're afraid to speak out because, uh, you know, they'll they're, they're, they're they're send them sent home. Back. Yeah. Exactly, yes. exactly. And during COVID, you know, early in the pandemic, Benny had COVID, um, but even before the vaccine was available. And so, um, you know, it was really, really challenging, right? The conditions, the working mm-hmm. conditions, the the hours that they work uh, remains a problem. And so we try to amplify those voices. We try to uh, create awareness about what is happening and we advocate, you know, where we can. Tell me, do you do you interact with, do you receive support from the Jamaican diplomatic mission in Canada, in Toronto? Um, the Jamaican Canadian Association has always had a really good um, relationship with our Consul Generals and our High Commissioner. So the current uh, Consul General is Lincoln Downer, and actually he and I are co-chairing the Jamaica 60 celebrations in Toronto here. Good. So... We absolutely stay engaged. We reach out to them when we come across uh, Jamaicans who are having and facing difficulties. We try and, you know, connect the dots um, and work with them in, in whatever way is necessary. So, yeah. uh, Mrs. Yes. Ms. Patterson, let me throw one at you because I know the work that you Jamaicans are doing in terms of mobilizing tourists for Jamaica and assisting in the farm work program people Mm -hmm. because the liaison office alone cannot cannot do it. But Mm -hmm. so as a result, uh, Canada is, I think, our second largest... Mark tourism. uh, Mm Tourism. And many of that is done by mobilization, assisting uh, Jamaicans, saying to a Canadian, you can go to Jamaica. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. We we need you to do that more than ever now, you know, miss. Yeah, and thank you for raising that. Of course, again, Canada has had very strict, uh, travel rules, you know, and, with yeah. restrictions um, yeah. all over. And I actually was in Jamaica in December. I I, I, I kind of snuck out and, and came <laughs> and spent a week in the grill. Yes. And I'm happy to to share that uh, the Jamaican Canadian Association is organizing. Um, an independent trip, and so so far there Good. are more than eighty of us who Coming will be home. traveling to Jamaica. Yes, yes, August first to eighth. Yes, for the sixtieth, um, and we were there in twenty nineteen for the opening of the Miss Lou Square in Gordon Town. So yes. we were there. Good. Uh, you know, so we are doing our part to uh, support Jamaica in tangible lots and lots of ways. Mm-hmm. Um, connect people who have not been back home in many, many years. Yes. Ms. Patrick, um, here, is where the, here is where the problem comes from where we are looking at you over there. When we have three and four people being murdered one night. Um, yes. From, uh, very and you have to say something like this that. happened in yes. Westmoreland, and I hear that. How can you defend that? How, 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 uh, what effect does it have on, yes. on, your, on your work? Uh, what mo- effect, yes. But I was just yeah. to somebody, go to Jamaica, enjoy yourself, have a nice time, and it's yes. a what? And, and, just and, be, and, and, be proud, and be proud of your nationality. Eh? Yes, Hard. yes. So the issue is real. Right? Um, and, you know, whether you're Jamaican or not, mm-hmm. you can't ignore um, the crime. Yes. Uh, many people, as a result, especially if they're not Jamaican, they stay on the resort. You know, they, they um, are afraid to leave. I would say that um, for Jamaican Canadians, um, you know, we're passionate. And people are passionate about their homeland. They want to do and feel like they can contribute. But I think it's it's something, um, and we come to the Diaspora Conference every two years when it's held. Okay, you know, yes. we, we have folks that Excellent. are there, and mm-hmm. it is like the number one issue mm-hmm. <laughs> that is always discussed is what is Jamaica doing mm-hmm. about crime? Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, there are no easy answers to the problem uh and we help you know and our other organizations partner organizations in toronto help with things like building schools by Mm -hmm. making sure that there's school supplies um you know and are willing to do more medical but we're not sure how Mm -hmm. right so it's i think important and there's an opportunity to bridge and whether it's through mentorship 
we come down um, and, uh, you know, we help to mentor young people at specific times. I don't know exactly what that solution looks like. And we've had many conversations with Jamaica government about this. Oh, well. um, well, they, but I think it's, it's, it's a serious, serious, serious well, issue. I think, I think what you you're know? doing in Canada and, and, and being receptive to Jamaicans who come there and, and they're going to continue to come. That's a, that's a, yes. a, a, a historical gift that we receive and also we give to the Canadian polity. That, that's mm. that, that's of, of tremendous importance. Let me ask you a difficult question before we conclude, though, because um, one of the things we're doing on the bridge and one of the things that Pernell and I represent is an effort to bridge political differences and to recognize that our problems and our, our strengths lie in some greater sense of cooperation mm-hmm. and unity. Um, mm-hmm. is, is, that, is that a thought that, that uh, when, you, when, you, when you meet with, with your association with other Jamaicans, uh, are, they, are they steeped in the partisanship that keeps us apart in Jamaica or they wish to see a different way? You know, it manifests itself a little bit differently, of course, when you're you're no longer in yes. that day to day. And we definitely, like at the JCA, we say we're nonpartisan. Uh-huh. Um, the solutions don't lie in a political stripe, right? So it's it's important that we put that aside. You've answered uh, my question. <laughs> in tr- in trying to, you know, figure out how to support um, Jamaica in moving forward. Yeah. So we, you know, it does not benefit us to to and those who've left Jamaica to see Jamaica struggle. Um, and Jamaicans are passionate, as you know, anywhere we go, and yes. we make a contribution there. Uh-huh. And I think the other thing I would say is that you know, just in in uh, the international students group, we have. People would return to Jamaica if they felt there were viable options, huh. if there was a career path for them where they could progress, yeah. you know, opportunities where they didn't have to worry about the safety of their children. And that has been the story, really, yeah. Yeah. since um, Jamaicans have been immigrating, right? Yeah. My dad did come back. He, he went to school here, yeah. university here, did his master's and decided to return in the 70s. But um, then we came back, you know, my mom just, wasn't feeling um, safe there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what a story. Listen, when you come in, in for independence, come see us. We want to talk mm-hmm. more. We appreciate what you're doing. And just through you, uh, extend warm greetings and solidarity across the Bridge of Difference. Eh? Yes, and Thank please, you please so let them much. know, please let the rest of Jamaicans know that there are many, many more mm-hmm. of us who yeah. love us, love what you're doing, yeah. want to see you, than the few headline makers yeah. of, yes. of, of, of bad things. Yes. Uh, right. Jamaica is much better than what you're hearing and seeing. Yes. They represent yeah. that, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. good. And and that's why we will be there in August. We look forward to it. That's Thanks why so I will much. Be and celebrating with you. Big up the Jamaica Canadian Association and your leadership. All the best, and thanks so much for being on the bridge this morning. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Stay warm. Well, isn't that nice? Ronnie. Are they teaching us an example, Mr. Charles? Yes, but let me say something to you. And and you must remember, you know, we are in the morning here. Yes, sir. But there are some of our people in the evening and some in the midday. So um, that in itself shows a connection, Uh you know, a bridge towards, you know, one another. Yes. Because not all of our people overseas are happy about Jamaica and want to help Jamaica. So even in this, we can help to organize them to say, look, remember Yard. Yeah. Remember with our Yard, are we yeah. it? Yeah. And you can help. Okay. And I agree with that. And I, I but I'm I am in enthused by making a comparison between some of the ways in which we confound ourselves locally and some of the ways in which clarity has come to people in the diaspora, notably yeah. this kind of person. There's one issue I wanted to, to, to discuss with you before we, we, we part today. Um, the, the report by, um, by Professor Patterson on yes. ed- education yes. points out that Jamaica spends, I think, on, in constant dollar terms. Yes. Um, about eight thousand six hundred dollars a year it would be U.S. dollars yes. um, on education, educating each child. Yes, yes, across the whole spectrum of education. Last week, your colleague, my 
friend, the Honorable Audley Shaw, yes, made a remark that Jamaica had fallen so badly behind Singapore yes. that we were on a, some par with in the 1960s. And he wondered and, and joined us himself how we were going to catch up. Right. Yes. Well, I just want to, to ask you a comment on the statistics. Patterson tells us that 8,600 thereabouts is what we spend per child on education. You know how much Singapore spends? 60,400. Well, I'm, I'm, Mr. I'm Shaw has his answer. So do we. Yes, and I have a little from Lee Kuan Yew yeah. from, from, from the grave. Yeah. Which it is the most, it's a fantastic fantastic letter yes, it is because of my lack of technology yeah, why i have not transferred it to yeah. you okay but you are going to get it today yes sir so you can read it yes sir and he will tell you uh -huh. the sacrifice he made yeah that he was prime minister for 30 odd years yeah. and of course running we don't have some of what we were calling freedoms uh -huh. were removed were removed but more people got more freedom. Uh -huh. can, well, can, can we say it that way? Is I it don't. a superlative degree in freedom? Uh -huh. Freedom. <laughs> freedom est. Well, the point is, can we, are we bright enough to, to maintain our, uh, our liberality, which was not true of Singapore in yeah. its early days? They would not have, 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 have countenance, for example, the kind of, of, of free media. Yes. That we have. Yes. Yes. That and, we, and, we he benefit. Did, and he was a trade union leader. And he was ba he? banned the trade union. Yes. In okay. order to so can we do it? Are we sensible enough to, to, to maintain those freedoms, but at the same time recognize what we collectively, unitedly must do to reach the kind of ends that they are talking about? That no, they have you cannot maintain what you are calling new freedom uh -huh. and, 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 and reach where they reach. They both don't work so, together. So, so, so autocracy and dictatorship um, and restraint of freedoms is the only way to achieve prosperity? No, we're going to set that as a discussion because huh. I have to go and study for you. <laughs> can you have the answer? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, right. I can't accept that, Pernell. You see that? Yes. You, you see that? Yes, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't accept that. That is, that, that, that is a big question for our, for our Jamaicans here yes. and abroad. My contention is that having regard to the examples that we can learn from, having regard to the solutions that are patently before us, yes, that we have to, uh, w w w w look, look at just on the issue of education, just that one. Yes. We talked about national security this yeah. morning and came up with some thoughts. We talked about, we're dying to talk more about agriculture and food production. Eh? Yes, yes. Um, uh, but just on the, the issue of education, we, we, we know we have to reform our system. We have to m remove some of the traditional measures. We have to reconfigure. Transform is the word used. We cannot do that unless we have a united consciousness about it. I and can let tell me, you. Let me tell you what that's going to do. Yeah. That's going to create a new generation. Yes, sir. For the future. Yes, sir. Educated. Uh-huh. And more united. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right now, yeah. some of us are educated. Yeah. Some, even <laughs> those who are educated are not united. No. Because there is something, there's a symbol. Yes. But I call it symbol because I don't see it otherwise. Yeah. Well? I'm seeing it these days. Uh -huh. And you're going to say, well, one time you never see it that way, do no. Never mind. I don't, that, that anybody who, who, come, who makes that argument, yes, is a waste. Right. A, that's a waste talk. Yeah. Reminding me of my past, yes, does not at all invalidate. So if you the, can the look and see what I want to do, yes, sir. where I want to and, go, and, use, and it is in use the your energy. Of, yes. yes, use your energy. Yes. And don't bother telling me what I did before yes. or didn't do before. Yes. That is a waste argument. Because all that does is to, is to defend us. In other course. words, you have prayed for forgiveness. <laughs> well. And we have been forgiven. Well, yes. And the forgiveness comes. There's, an, there's, an, there's, a, re, there's a restitution that is necessary for right. forgiveness. And the restitution comes in the willingness to compromise and unite. That's what we do on the early rise. And that, is the, way, that is the way that you took from me. <laughs> Both of us said, yes. that's the way we want to, to go. go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Charles. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We look forward to tomorrow morning on the early rise on the bridge. Thanks to Lafayne, Richie, Romy, Audley, everyone. Stand by for Richie B. 
and all of the other offerings on The Bridge 99. Take care. <laughs>